What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by SwiftDo, and we're taking a look at the really, really awesome all-in-one PDF software. This thing is really, really cool because it allows you to do everything you could possibly dream of doing with your PDF files. You can go ahead and edit, you can convert, you can compress, you can merge different files, and you can go ahead and e-sign them directly within the software. So as you guys can see, here is the software. When you first open it up, it gives you a cool little PDF document that is actually really nice because it's actually a mini tutorial on what you guys can do. I'm just going to go through everything, so it's going to be really, really awesome. So as you guys can see, I'm going to jump into this this particular file here and at the same time what I'm able to do is hit this little arrow exit out of edit mode and now as you guys can see I have all of these options so what am I able to do first things first we're gonna jump and just as you guys can see it's a little annoying to see the document itself so what we can do is we can have a single page facing book a book view and we can actually do the actual size fit the width go full on full screen which we don't really need right now and you can also go custom if that's what you're feeling now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna zoom out of this and we're gonna go to another one of the pages let's say we have two pages here and the main thing that people need to do with PDF documents is that they need to be able to edit their documents they want a, you know, if you shove it into Word, sometimes it works nice, sometimes it doesn't maintain the format. What we want to be able to do is take our PDF, maintain the format, but be able to edit some of the text within it because once you export something as a PDF, it kind of feels a bit permanent, which isn't always a good thing. So with OCR functionality, we're actually able to go and jump into the edit section. And as you guys can see, um, using OCR functionality, we are able to convert any text on here directly to text. How awesome is that? Now, before I jump in and actually edit the text, I'm going to show you some other cool things, like you can split the page, you can mess with the page setup, a crop it, you can also add a link and an image directly into here. So if I want to go and jump onto my desktop, I don't even think I have any images, but let's say I can find an image real quick. Here's an image. I can actually decide that I want to put it right here, and boom, that image has been imported directly into here. How awesome is that? I can also go ahead and white out certain um, parts of this as well, so I can add as many boxes as I need. Let's say I really want to cover this image because it's not a proper image. This image feels a bit weird too, so you can go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so white out functionality is nice, even though I'm using blue, so if you guys want to use white, you can go ahead and use white because oftentimes this is something you really need to do on PDF documents, um, be able to remove a section or something of those sorts. Really, really cool. Now, the main function, as I was saying when we started this little section, is that you are able to go, and I'll, I do need to say first, all right, so I'm going to go and save, and I'm going to be able to edit a lot of the text here. So since I made a mess on that page, I'm going to jump to one of these pages, and let's say I made a typo over here, but now I'm sad because this needs to go to my boss, and unfortunately, I don't want to send him something that has a typo in it because he's going to notice. Well, not to worry. We can go ahead and fix that typo by doing this. Wow, look at that great fix. How awesome is that? And you can do this with any particular section or any group of text. You could delete the text all in all in general. So let's say I just select this whole section, hit delete, boom, that section no longer exists how cool is that you can also go and metal with you know the font sizes and all that cool stuff as well so let me jump into this little section and let's say I want to make it bold italicized and then I want to add some of this <laughs> and then I want to go and make it absolutely gigantic how cool is that I guess I forgot the sum how nice is that whoops um, we're gonna change the font on that for kicks Cool. All right, so we're able to do all of that as well. How awesome is that? Next off, we're going to jump out of this little edit um, menu. So we're going to hit exit, which um, I do wish actually they made that button bigger because it's a little easy to miss like I did at the beginning. And as you guys can see, we can do some other things as well. For example, you can annotate or insert text as well. Let's say you don't want to edit one of the you know text bubbles that they already have. Well, we can go ahead and insert text right here um, in any color we want. And we can you know strike through it, make it squiggly, carrot. And we can also highlight the area, add an error which is very very useful actually you know like that's something you really need to very often on PDF documents if you're making instruction manuals or anything of those sorts you can also add a line maybe you want to make like uh, actually those are still arrows oops but you can maybe want to make an X you can go and do that which is really really nice um, you can add shapes as well you can choose between a polygon and you know like you can go and make this really insane looking shape um, and then you can also choose see what are the cool little shapes we got and uh, we have the size of it, the line type, and then the line color, and you have a connected line, an oval. Let's just make a big oval, because why not? Cool. Okay, we also have pencils. So if you want to just go absolutely insane, boom, you can do that as well. And last but not least, you can add a quick little note that says boom, and you're set to go. How awesome is that? All right, so let's keep going. 
The next thing we could do is convert this. So now we have this beautiful document with 8 million arrows on top of it. What exactly can we do? Well, what we can do is we can convert it into anything we want because, you know, maybe just maybe the other person on the other end, a lot of times you're making maybe a resume or something and you don't want to be able to export this as a PDF. They want a Word document or they want an Excel document. Well, we're going to go ahead and turn this into an Excel document just for kicks. You can also turn it into a PowerPoint or CAD, HTML, so many different options, options you typically don't even get on a lot of other conversion software as well. So let's go ahead and do this. You want to do all the pages. Um, and as you guys can see, they have even more options and history in here. There's also some cool options in here. For example, let's say I have two PDFs or I have my current PDF and I have one that's already saved on my computer. Well, I can go and merge those two or I can split two PDFs if I want to just pull out a page from a particular PDF, which is really, really nice. You can also compress it. Let's say you're trying to upload this to a website and the website says, uh-oh, we can only upload a PDF that's three megabytes. Well, not to worry. This thing has the capability of compressing the PDF and making it very tiny. Check this out. It's taking a nine megabyte file and turning it into a 2.8 megabyte file. How cool is that? Last but not least, something very important. A lot of PDF documents like to be password protected. And this is the case of something you could do here as well. You can go and encrypt it. So you're pretty much set to go. But for now, as I was saying, the reason we got in here, we were going to export this to Excel. I'm going to hit start and let's just jump into the section. Oh, we do have some settings here. Um, select the path and all that as well. But as you can see, it'll go ahead and process. And from then on out, you're pretty much set to go. So while that happens, um, it's going to be converting. I'm just going to go and show you guys the last few sections that we have here. You can mess with the uh, see the pages. There's also the advanced menu. So this is where you find the things I was talking about, compression. Um, but something important that you get here, actually, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, is sometimes you need to be able to sign a document. So if you want to be able to sign the document, you just hit create new signature. You can add an image. You can do input or you can do handwriting. And let's say this is my signature. I'm going to hit OK. And now you can place it down right there. How cool is that? And if you want to watermark that, you can go and add a watermark as well. How cool is that? Last but not least, we can share this directly to Google Drive, Dropbox, or email right from here. Now, as I was saying, in the background, while I was talking about this, we had Excel actually open up. And as you guys can see, my document has been converted into a full-fledged Excel document with every single page shoved into Excel. Does it look ridiculous? Yes. But is it a useful feature? Yes, because in some scenarios, someone actually needs to be able to take their PDF and compress it into an Excel file. How cool is that? All in all, 10 out of 10. Apparently, my office has expired. Great. But oh well. Anyhow, as you guys can see, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys for watching. Go ahead and check out the link below. This is going to be me logging off.